Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And uh, this morning I'd like, to, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, whale bitterness. I remember the story of Jonah in the belly of the whale. That's a very famous story. Everybody knows it, I'm sure. But then there's something that follows, you know, when the whale swallowed Jonah, and all this thing. I mean, that was a very harrowing experience. And honestly, I don't know whether I would have survived. I'm sure immediately the whale swallowed me. I said, I'll tell God I'm dead. Take my ghost away or whatever. But guess what? I mean, Jonah, Jonah goes through um, the belly of the whale. And by a stroke of grace, I mean, God uh, had mercy on Jonah and rescued Jonah out of the belly of the whale. And the whale spat Jonah out to Nineveh, the place where God wanted him to go. He landed there at that, at, that, at that particular time. Now here comes the interesting thing. After Jonah landed at that place, and the Bible says the kind of sermon Jonah uh, preached was a blistering sermon. I mean, boy, he, he preached in such a way that dogs were even made to fast. I mean, in repentance, <laughs> this, is, this is classic. And God, you know, God prophesied he was bringing judgment against Nineveh. And the people of Nineveh, when they heard that, of course, I mean, they repented and they, they, they were in sackcloth and ashes and they said, we, we repent, even dogs are repenting, you know, and fasting. Wow. And then all of a sudden, what Jonah prophesied was going to happen to Nineveh, that is the destruction of Nineveh, never happened. Now here comes the key. Jonah became angry. He was angry. He was upset that you sent me to go and prophesy to these people. I prophesy, and it didn't happen because they repented, and now you have you are forgiving them. And then he went and made a shack out of a pumpkin tree or whatever it is, and was staying there. He was angry. He was upset. He was upset with God because God didn't carry out the judgment that he Jonah had gone to prophesy. You know what? Jonah came out of the whale. But the bitterness of the whale experience didn't come out of Jonah. That Jonah has no room for grace in his life after the after the that experience. The the the, the, the pain of that experience, that the the, the the bitterness of that experience, the the, the the trauma of that experience twisted Jonah and, and, and warped his character in such a way that Jonah cannot relate with people, we cannot relate to people with grace. It, 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 he had become very judgmental. He had become very unforgiven. He had become there because of that experience. So Jonah came out of the whale. Jonah came out of the experience of the will, but the experience of the will didn't come out of Joseph, of Jonah. Something had twisted him. That even God working with grace and God purposing to forgive people Jonah won't take that. You need to kill them. You know, sometimes you go through some experiences and after those experiences, those experiences twist us up. Just twist us up. And makes us very, very, uh, makes us uh, norms of misfortune. It, it puts, uh, it ignores us up. It, 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 makes, it, it makes us so twisted that we can't find it in our heart to relate to people with grace. And even though God has delivered us from some very, very, very harrowing experiences, that he delivered us out of those harrowing experiences, but those harrowing experiences never got out of us. And they have marked us for the rest of our lives, and they've twisted us, said that we can't relate to other people with grace. Come on. Where grace has worked for us, may we also find it in our hearts to extend grace to other people. Choices are always yours. See you later.